Hello everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 editing tutorial for you. Uh, this one is in response to questions from uh, a few people in the comments section as well as some uh, players on Discord and it is about having a para drop from an aircraft in your mission for AI and for players. Um, to do this you need the RHS mods or Red Hammer Studios which you'll be able to find on the Steam Workshop. Uh, this is not a difficult thing to do. There are a lot of different uh, ideas and methods to achieve this, many of which no longer work because of updates to the game. But uh, as of March 2022 I can assure you that this method does work for both AI and uh, human players for a para drop. So, firstly, we're going to need an aircraft for the troops to parachute out of, and I'm going to use a C-130J. Now, with this aircraft, there's a few things that we need to do. Firstly, we're going to double left click on the aircraft and we're going to give it a variable name. I'm just going to call it Herc, H-E-R-C. Okay. Now, when this aircraft is flying in, the AI crew will automatically follow the contour of the land and they won't maintain a stable height. So, to alleviate that issue, we're just going to type in here Herc, fly in height, A-S-L, which is all one word. Then I'm going to put in there a fly-in height of 300 meters, comma, space, 300, comma, space, 300. Close the square brackets with a semicolon. Um, the, th the reason I've got 300 there three times is for the different um, status of awareness of the crew. So it doesn't matter what alert status they're at, whether it's safe, careless, combat, etc they will always stay at 300 meters for this uh, activity or this task. So we're going to scroll down also and we're going to ensure that enable damage is unchecked because we don't want our aircraft shot down uh, during its run in for a power drop. I think that would ruin your um, immersion and probably potentially your mission. So we just make sure we click OK on that. Next thing we do is we've got the little square unit or rectangle unit marker here. We're going to double left click on that and we're going to go down to the behavior and set that to careless and we're going to set the speed mode as limited. Okay, so we don't want the crew to react to any enemy ground fire. And we don't want them to be flying too fast because if they're flying too fast, uh, they will spread the paratroops out a little bit too far. So once we've changed those, we click OK. Now it's important to do all that to the aircraft prior to putting your AI infantry paratroopers in there. So we go up to either click on compositions or press, press F2. And we're going to get some guys in the aircraft. Okay, so just some whatever units you want to use. We're going to left click and drag across all those guys to highlight them. Then we're going to left click and drag all of them until we see the aircraft highlighted. And then we just release the left mouse button and our paratroops are now in position. So we need to get this aircraft off the ground because it won't take off on its own even if we give it waypoints from the ground. So there's two ways you can do this. You can press left alt, uh, left mouse button and drag it up into the air if you want to do it that way. Or to get it more precise, you can double left click, open up the aircraft attributes. In object transformation, you have position X, Y, Z. Z is actually the height, and I'm going to set this at uh, 150 meters. You click OK, and then you'll see it's automatically put the aircraft at 150 meters uh, above the ground. Now, I'm going to have the para drop waypoint on the airfield, 
and for that to occur smoothly I'm going to need to take this aircraft and drag it away from the airfield so that the AI crew have got time to get a nice steady slow run in on the drop zone um, because if you put them too close uh, they'll get confused because the waypoint will be too close for them they may do a lap to try to come back around to catch the waypoint so we want it at a, a reasonable distance I think here I've got it uh, maybe at about just a little bit over two kilometers away all right it's a bit over 2,000 meters now that we've got the aircraft highlighted we're going to move forward again to the area of the runway where the power drop is going to occur and we're going to left shift right click and place a move waypoint then we're going to move off into the distance again and we're going to left shift right click again to place another way, uh, move waypoint so with these move waypoints obviously we don't want them on the ground they've got to be up off the ground so to do that you just left click hold left alt uh, hold down the left mouse button and we're going to drag it up into the air so we want it to be roughly similar height to where the aircraft is at the moment okay and the next one we're going to move down here and do the same thing left alt on your keyboard left click and hold and we're going to drag it up into the air okay so there's a couple of things we're going to do with these waypoints firstly this is the last waypoint that we we have for the aircraft so after the last waypoint we don't need it anymore uh, there are ways to delete the aircraft but I'll go into that in another tutorial here what we're going to do is just double left click and we're just going to select the dismissed waypoint type so the aircraft will head off and do its own thing uh, if you don't do that it will start to do circles and it will loop back around and you just want it to be out of the area because you're not going to need it again now with the first move waypoint here uh, you'll see that there's a there's one on the ground one up in the air I'm not sure why that one on the ground is there uh, let me take that one away I've doubled up on that somehow so we have them up in the air don't worry about those ground ones they shouldn't have been there now with our first move waypoint we are going to double left click and we're going to do a couple of things here so with the RHS mods loaded we have an RHS special waypoint section and we're going to select infantry paradrop then we're going to scroll down and in the on activation section for the waypoint we're going to paste some code and I'll quickly go over what the code is and how it works in not too much details uh, not too much detail sorry so um, we click OK there and this is the code that we use in the waypoint um, you'll see the top here I've got herc d which is a variable name so anytime you give a variable name to any vehicle that already has AI crew in it the AI crew will also get a variable name and herc d happens to be the automatically generated variable name for the pilot of the aircraft I have a side chat message here which will pop up on the screen you can change that to whatever you want it to be um, the next line of interest down here is this word cargo so it's telling this code to only affect the cargo which is our uh, paratroops in the back if that was not there it would also eject the aircrew which for obvious reasons would be uh, undesirable next couple of lines here relate to the backpack now when you put your units inside the aircraft they had normal backpacks on what this will do is it will remove their normal backpack 
and replace it with a parachute. Okay, um, there are a few different types of parachutes you can use, but we I've just left that at, at B parachute. So if you need to have specific loadouts, uh, you're going to need to put those into vests and uniforms. Um, if this is going to be an issue for you in your mission, what I would suggest is creating a task that once your guys are on the ground, the task will come up for them to move to a location to further equip themselves at an ammo box or arsenal. Alternatively, you can put an ammo box or arsenal into the drop zone that the guys can use once they're on the ground. These next two lines here, uh, don't worry too much about them, but they need to be there because um, when the paratroopers come out of the aircraft, the AI crew is going to assume that someone's fallen out and they're going to try and loop back and pick them up. So you need those two lines in there to stop that from happening. Um, and you'll notice down the bottom here, we have move out, which is the command for the cargo to leave the aircraft. And here we have the variable name of the aircraft. So if you've used something other than Herc, which is what I've used, you're going to need to change that in the code in addition to changing the variable name of the pilot for the side chat message if you want to use a side chat message. Okay, so our code is in there. We have our aircraft off in the distance and we have set this move waypoint as an RHS infantry para drop waypoint. Now let's see how that works. So here comes their aircraft. I'm just going to speed it up just a little and then I'll slow it down for the actual drop. So here comes the Herc. And there come our troops parachuting out. Um, now for some reason I can't figure out why some of them have steerable parachutes Others have static line parachutes. I'm not 100% sure why that's happening, uh, but it's armor. So uh, our paratroopers have all parachuted down and now they will start to race around and do their thing. Now the beauty of this is that it works with human players as well. So I'm going to place myself into the aircraft and the same will happen to me as happened to the AI. It will kick me out of the aircraft with a parachute um, into the drop zone area. And I'll show you how that works. So I spawned inside the aircraft. Look at all these tough looking dudes in the back here. Now we're approaching the airfield. We're approaching our waypoint. You'll see the AI pilots have extended the flaps because it's a uh, low speed maneuver. I've been booted out of the aircraft when the waypoint's been struck. Um, I've got a static line parachute and all my other uh, friendly troops have also been parachuted out and they're now floating down to the ground. Obviously if you were to make yourself squad leader of these guys you can then command the AI once they're uh, on the ground. nice smooth landing so everyone that is how you do it I will put a link into the description which is a paste bin site where I will put the uh, line of code to set the flying height for the Hercules and I will also put in the uh, code you need to put into the infantry paradrop waypoint 
as in this stuff for this all to work for you uh, as always if you've uh, enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if you've got any questions ask them in the comments below and you can always visit us in our discord server and you can ask for uh, assistance or you can ask further questions in there as always thank you so much for watching so much appreciate the support from everyone and i'll see you in the next video